Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we celebrate the Easter Sunday of the Lord's Resurrection. Our Mass Messiah for this hour is Reverend Father Mario Billy Foro, CSSR. Everyone is invited to join in the prayers, songs, and responses at our Mass. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. 
Christ is risen. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat after me and follow my tone. If I whisper, you have to whisper also, okay? And if I shout out loud, you have to shout out loud also. Repeat after me. Hallelujah. 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 Whisper. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate one of the greatest history in our faith, in our Christianity. Jesus who is risen from the dead. We are thankful, we are grateful for the redemption that Jesus has given to us. Let us celebrate this moment, this Eucharist. Let us bring all of our petition and our thanksgiving. And we offer it especially for our family and those who we love and love by us. So let us prepare our heart, acknowledge our sins, so that we can celebrate this memorial of faith. Let us keep silent for a moment. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my in words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. For we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good, and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him... All the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand and let us all recite the Easter sequence. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb, the sheep, redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to their Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wavering. The tomb of Christ, who is living, glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. To Galilee, he goes before you. Christ indeed from dead is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but didn't go in. 
When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciples also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to arise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, whoever does not see the cross of Christ, they will not see the glory of Christ either. Today we celebrate the most sacred celebration in the Christianity history. This is a moment where Christ revealed his divinity. You know, in his whole life as human, he saw people how real his humanity was. And today he shows us the sight of his divinity that overcomes the dead. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two messages in today's reading that we can combine as our Easter reflection on this year. If you listen carefully to the first reading from the letter of Acts of the Apostles, it talks about being witness of Jesus' resurrection. And there are four times in that reading when it says about witness and being witness. You know, when something is repeated many times, it means something for us. It has something to do for our life. I think this is the first message of our Easter celebration. We are the witness of Christ's resurrection. But unlike the prophets who giving their witness about Jesus' re resurrection by preaching, and writing gospel about it. I think we don't do that anymore. We are not meant to do that. What is required from us is to bring in the message of the resurrection of Christ in a tangible way of life, to bear witness to the resurrection in a feasible way of life. My dear brothers and sisters, have you ever wondered of all disciples of Jesus, of all the people, of all the good people who surrounded Jesus when he was still alive, why is it Mary Magdalene who had the honor of being the first witness of Jesus' resurrection? God never gets his message wrong. I think we all know who Mary Magdalene was. She was a woman and always remember that in the Jewish tradition, women had no position. They were chattel, equal to goods. And even worse, Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. So by choosing Mary Magdalene, God conveyed his message through the resurrection of Christ. His message is that God comes for those who are small, for those who are neglected, and for those who are abundant in our society. The resurrection of Christ is an even of God's partiality for those who are small and sinners. The resurrection of Christ is a gift for us, the sinners. So my dear brothers and sisters, by combining these two messages, I think it is clear that being a witness of Christ's resurrection has a very special and contextual meaning of our life. Proclaiming that Christ is risen by living 
in a way that pays more attention to those who are small and neglected in our society. So the question for us is, is Christ's reason in our life? If you're still gambling, Christ is not reason yet in your life. If you're still cheating on your wife and your husband, Christ is not reason yet in your life. If you're still living for yourself only, Christ is not reason yet in your life. If every day you can eat a lot and your neighbor dying of hungry, Christ is not the reason yet in your life. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Happy Easter. And always remember, Easter, the resurrection of Christ, is always about our choice to take sight for the poor. Easter is about option for the poor. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are going to renew our baptismal promises. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promise to God to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty soul? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, dead, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen.
prayer of the faithful, my dear brothers and sisters, Christ is the Lord of life, raised up by the Father. In turn, he will raise up, he will raise us up by his power. Let us address our petition to the Heavenly Father as we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. Risen Lord, hear us. May the church courageously proclaim your son's victory to a world living in sin through bearing weapons of love that we might live and remain in peace, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. May the ecclesiastical and government leaders die to their personal interest so that like the Good Shepherd, they may faithfully serve your people through listening and journeying with them, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. May all the baptized believers die to their sins and live up to their dignity as children of God, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. May but faithful departed share in Christ's glorious resurrection, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. For those who offered masses to be celebrated in the National Shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Health, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. Father, accept our humble pleas as we celebrate today the glorious triumph of your Son over sin and death. May we be won over the peace of Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for a good and a good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy this gift we have brought to, to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son of our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whose commands we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he saved the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your name, O Lord. We profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as 
we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Jesse our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By his Savior, command and form by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who has risen today, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restore you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten enjoy you with the price of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast Come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down in you and remain with you forever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, our Mass is over. Let us go to become the witness of the risen Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.